churches do you attend? Pres Presbyterian? Okay. Anything else? What? Pentecostal? What? I haven't heard of that. <laughs> you? What did she say? Okay. Okay, well anyway, I'm going to get started. Okay. What I want to talk about today is how to go to heaven when you die. All right. Do you want to go to heaven someday? Yes. Amen? Amen. All right. Now, there are just a few basic things about Jesus and the gospel that we must understand to go to heaven, okay? Okay. Now, the first thing that we have to understand, the Bible says, as it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. So, nobody's perfect, right? I'm not perfect. Are you perfect? No. No. And the reason that nobody's perfect, the Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Now, what is a sin? Is a sin a good thing or is that bad? That's bad. Bad. For example, I have lied before, so I have sinned. Have you lied before? Yes. Right. Now, God loves us even though we're not perfect, even though we're sinners, even though we've all lied. But God is a righteous God, so there is a punishment for our sins. And this is the bad news first. Are you ready for the bad news? Yes. Amen? Amen. All right. The Bible says, for the wages of sin is death. Okay? So because we've sinned, we're going to die someday. Now, there are two deaths in the Bible. There's a physical death of your body and a second death if your soul goes to hell. Do you understand? Yes. Now, how long does hell last? Is that temporary or forever? Forever. Forever, right? The Bible says if you go to hell, you're tormented day and night forever and ever. Do you want to go to hell? No. No, you don't want to go to hell, right? What's hell like? What is it like in hell? Is it a paradise? Are there butterflies and rainbows? Or is hell a place of fire and torment? Fire and torment. So you don't want to go to hell, amen? Amen. All right. But here's the bad news. The bad news is that's what we deserve because of our sins. I deserve hell, and you deserve hell. But do you think that God wants us all to go to hell? No. No, God loves us. So here's the good news. The Bible says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So Jesus came to save us from hell. Who is Jesus? Uh, you don't have to raise your hands, just, just say it. Who is Jesus? He's the Son of God. He's the Messiah. He's the Savior. Yes. Hey, do you believe Jesus is God? Yes. Amen? Amen. There's one God in three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen? Yes. So Jesus is God. And Jesus showed many signs and many miracles to prove that he's the Messiah. Jesus was born to the Virgin Mary. Jesus cast out devils. Jesus raised the dead. Jesus walked on water. But the most significant thing that Jesus did, Jesus never sinned. Jesus never lied. Jesus never stole. Jesus never cheated. Jesus is perfect because Jesus is God. Amen? Amen. But what happened to Jesus? How did he die? Did he have a heart attack? No. Did he have cancer? No. no. What happened? Just say it. He was crucified, right? And the Bible says that on the cross, God the Father in heaven, he took the sins of the whole world and placed them on Jesus. All of my sins, all of your sins, the sins of everybody, every country, every people, every language, they were all placed on Jesus. And because Jesus died with our sins, 
he had to take our punishment. So after he died and his body was in the tomb, his soul went to hell for three days and three nights to pay for our sins. But what happened after three days and three nights? Did he stay in hell? No. No. What happened? He rose from the dead. Amen? Amen. All right. He showed the nails in his hands. He showed his bleeding side. And then he walked on this earth for 40 days and 40 nights. And then he ascended up to heaven. Right? Yes. You familiar with that? Amen? Amen. But even though Jesus did that, the Bible says that most people go to hell, okay? But it's actually very easy to go to heaven. Uh, let's read this Bible verse. The Bible says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. And there are two things that I want you to notice from this. Okay, the Bible tells you how you are saved, how you go to heaven. You go to heaven by what? Faith. Faith in Jesus. Amen? Amen. Now, the second thing I want you to notice is how you're not saved, okay? It says, not of yourselves and not of works, okay? Now, the problem is most people, they try to put both of these together, they try to go to heaven by faith in Jesus and by trusting in their own good works. But maybe you've heard this verse before. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So what that means is Jesus is the only way to heaven. You cannot get to heaven by yourself and your own good works. Now, what are works? Can someone tell me what works are? All right, I'll explain. Works are doing good things, like keeping God's commandments. Going to church, reading the Bible, getting baptized, repenting of your sins. And those are all good things to do, amen? amen. But that is not how you go to heaven. Going to heaven is not of works, it's by... Faith. Faith. Remember that. You go to heaven by what? Faith. Faith. I'll give you another verse. Do you know John 3.16? Yes. Right? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So if you want to go to if you want to go to heaven, you don't have to go to my church. You don't have to be baptized. You don't have to repent of your sins. You don't have to be a good person. The only thing that you have to do is have faith in Jesus. Now, once again, baptism is good. Going to church is good. Reading the Bible is good. But those are things you do after you're saved. Amen? Amen. Now, this is the really good news of the gospel. Are you ready for the really good news? Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen. Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me hath everlasting life. So the moment someone believes in Jesus, or another word for believe is trust. The moment someone trusts in Jesus, he saves them forever. The Bible says they have everlasting life. Do you think that's talking about someone's body or their soul? What gets everlasting life, your body or your soul? Your soul. Your soul, amen? Yeah. Now, how long does everlasting life last? Is that temporary or forever? Forever. Forever. So this is the good news. Are you paying attention? All right. Once you are saved, you are always saved. You are saved forever because Jesus washes away your past sins, your present sins, and even your future sins. So the moment you place your faith in Jesus, you're saved forever, and you cannot lose your salvation. Do you understand? Yes. Now listen, I'm not telling you to do bad things. Okay? I'm not saying to skip church. Church is good. I'm not saying to break the commandments. I'm not saying to do drugs. I'm not saying to commit murder. I'm not saying to commit suicide. But what I am saying, if you had faith in Jesus, you would go to heaven. Because salvation is a free gift. 
Okay, do you understand? Yes. For example, let's say I gave her my Bible as a gift. Did she pay for it or did I pay for it? Who paid for it? Her or me? I paid for it, right? So for her, the Bible is free. She doesn't have to buy it. She doesn't have to earn it. She does not have to pay for it. All she has to do is accept it. Am I right? Right. Now, who paid for salvation? Did you pay for salvation? Or did Jesus pay for salvation? Jesus. Jesus. So that means you don't have to work for it. You don't have to buy it. You don't have to earn it. All you have to do is accept salvation, and you do that by faith. Amen? Amen. And once you've done that, you're saved forever and ever. Now, God will punish you for your sins in this life. Okay? If you're saved and you commit murder, you'll go to jail probably. Amen? Amen. If you're saved and you do drugs or you drink alcohol, you're going to mess up this life. But if you die, your soul would still go to heaven because Jesus gave you eternal life. Do you understand? Yes. All right. Now, is Jesus a liar? No. no. I can lie. You can lie, right? Yes. But this is a promise from Jesus right here. He says, These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life. So I'm not perfect. I'm a sinner. But I believed on Jesus, so I know that I have eternal life. And you can know that you have eternal life. You can know that you're going to heaven if you just do one thing. What is the one thing you must do to go to heaven? Have faith. Now, who must your faith be in? What's his name? Jesus. Can your faith be in Allah? No. Can your faith be in Buddha? No. Can your faith be in me? No. Can your faith be in your church? No. Can your faith be in you? No. Or does it have to be in Jesus Christ? What do you think, Jesus? Yes. Amen? Amen. Now, once you believe in Jesus, how long does he save you for? Temporary or forever? Forever. Forever, amen? Amen. So let me give you an example. All right? What if my friend here? Okay, what's your name? What? Melissa? Okay. Let's say Melissa believes in Jesus today. And Jesus saves her soul forever. But she never goes to church. She never reads the Bible. She never gets baptized. She never repents of her sins. But she has faith in Jesus. Will she go to hell or heaven? Heaven. She'll go to heaven. Amen? Amen. I got a harder question. Are you ready? Amen? Amen. Amen? Amen. All right, let's say Melissa believes in Jesus today. And Jesus saves her soul forever. And then, God forbid, Melissa commits murder or suicide. But she had faith in Jesus. Would she go to hell or heaven? Okay, I, I'm hearing both. Who says hell? Who says heaven? It's heaven. And here's why. How, how many sins did Jesus pay for? Did he pay for some sins? For all sins. All sins. Right. So once you believe, once you accept the gift of salvation, you're saved forever. Now this is the last question, the last hard question. Are you ready? Yes. All right. What if Melissa believes in Jesus today and Jesus saves her soul forever? And then five years later, Melissa gets depressed and she starts to question her faith. She starts to have some doubts in her faith. But she already believed in Jesus. She already got saved forever. Will she go to hell or heaven? Heaven. Who thinks hell? Who thinks heaven? She would go to heaven. Because when you believe in Jesus, the moment you believe in Jesus, how long does he save you for? Temporary or forever? Forever. Forever. Amen? Amen. All right. Now... The question for you now is, do you believe what I've shared with you? 
Yes. Do you believe that Jesus is God? Yes. Do you believe he died for your sins? Yes. Do you believe he rose from the dead? Yes. Okay. Now, this is probably different than what you believed before, okay? Because before, you probably had some faith in Jesus and some faith in good works. Now, can good works save you? No. No. What saves you? Faith. faith. So my question is, when should you place all of your faith in Jesus? Should you wait for a hundred years, or should you believe the gospel right now? You should believe it right now, amen? Amen. Now, last thing. Are you listening? Yes. All right, I don't want you to go to hell. Do you want to go to hell? No. So the last thing is, is to tell Jesus that you believe. Now, how do you talk to Jesus? Does Jesus have a cell phone number? No. Does Jesus have a WhatsApp? No. Does Jesus have Facebook Messenger? No. How do you talk to Jesus? By faith. pray, right? So listen, I'm going to say a prayer to Jesus. And if you believe this with your heart, you can just repeat after me. And we're going to pray to Jesus and tell him that you believe. Okay? Amen? Amen? Amen. 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 All right, so just repeat after me if you believe this. Okay, let's pray. Uh, dear Jesus, I know I'm a sinner. I know I'm a sinner. I know I deserve hell. I know I deserve hell. But I believe. But I believe. You died for all my sins. You died for all my sins. And rose from the dead. And rose from the dead. Please save me. Please save me. Right now. Right now. Forever. Forever. Amen. Amen. Now, did you believe that? Yes. Where will you go when you die? Hell or heaven? Heaven. Fifty percent right. sure or a hundred percent sure? Hundred percent sure. Right. Because is Jesus a liar? No. No. Jesus said, "Whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but right have everlasting life." So no, no matter what you do. And obviously, I don't want you to live a sinful life, okay? If you live a sinful life, God's going to punish you. God's going to curse your life. But if you keep God's commandments, if you follow his rules, he's going to bless your life. And you're going to earn rewards in heaven. But that's up to you, okay? But if you believe the gospel today, you're saved forever and ever. Amen? Amen. All right. Well, God bless you all. Thank you for your time. I appreciate this opportunity. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Right.